This is a video on how to put your dog into a Bailey chair. Robin and Raiden are going to be helping me. They're my kids. This is Gremlin. He has mega esophagus and Mally the Frenchie who does not. We're going to teach Mally to get into a, ba a Bailey chair in order to teach you how to teach them. First we're going to show you Gremlin getting into his chair. Grem, get in your chair. Come on buddy. Gremlin already knows how to do this. Come on. Get in your chair because he has mega esophagus, which is a condition where his esophagus is pretty much paralyzed. Um, the muscles in the esophagus don't push the food down to the stomach the way they should, and so the gravity from the chair allows the food to go down the way it should. This chair was built by Bailey Chairs for Dogs and uh, Susan, Gigi, and Pa, and it is the first of the Bailey Chairs for Dogs chairs, and we absolutely love it. So here's Gremlin sitting in his chair, this is what he does. He Sometimes he just goes and sits in there just because he wants to. Sometimes he sleeps in there. He's not a food motivated dog, so it did take longer to get him in there. But the key is repetition. Um, or to teach him to get in there. But now he loves it, and the key is repetition. So how about you take him out of there, Robbie? Come on out, buddy. Sorry, you gotta take one for the team. Let's get Mally in there. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is Mally's gonna learn how. And as she learns, we're gonna post progress videos on how she learned. Raiden, it's because you have food. You gotta go stand over by the chair. Yeah. Mally is a food motivated dog, so she's gonna be easier to teach. So up she goes onto the chair. Now we're gonna teach her. Turn around, back up, and then up. And sit her up and close the door. And there she goes. Now we're gonna feed her right away. So she realizes, she associates, oh, I got a treat because I sat in the chair. Um, Eventually we won't have to guide her in there anymore. It's just something that she'll do on her own um, because she, she will associate it with that food. She'll realize that she gets that treat and uh, she'll want to go in. So anyways, uh, we're going to get her out of there and we're going to try again so we can show you one more time. Get her down. Yeah. And say, okay, Nelly, get in your chair. So we're going to try and encourage her to do it herself, and if she won't, we're going to help her. And that's the point. You have to always try and encourage them to do it themselves, and then you have to try help them. Turn around. And back up. She's really, really interested in that food that Raiden's got. So Raiden, maybe you need to back up a bit so that she's not so focused. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Don't keep the food right beside her because that's uh, something that's not going to help. We need to keep it back a little bit so that she has to work for it. So now she's worked for it, you can give it to her. Good girl. The reason we keep the chair on top of another chair is I found that when it was against the floor, they would back up and hit the wall and they would miss the chair. This way there's one way to back up without falling off the chair. So like I said, we'll be posting progress videos and uh, hopefully you'll be able to um, uh, use them to help you to train your own dog. If you have any questions, go ahead and post them or inbox me and I'd be happy to try and help. Okay, Mally doesn't have mega esophagus so she doesn't have to wait. We can get her out of there now. And we are gonna give Gremlin a treat because he was so good waiting and sharing his chair. Mally, come here. Good girl. All right, Grem, get in your chair, buddy. Are you hungry? Get in your chair, buddy. He's kind of getting sick of all this. Come on, buddy, get in your chair, good boy. He normally doesn't have to be guided, but he's getting sick of waiting around and, and seeing his sister in the chair, so. Good boy. Can you smile for us, Grim? Can you smile? You want a treat? Can you smile? Can yeah, let's it? see if he'll smile for you. Do you want that? He smile? Oh, no, he's not going to. Here you go, buddy. Good boy. Like I said, not a treat motivated dog, but. Good boy. There's a half smile for you. Good boy. There's his smile. All right. Thank you, Gremlin. Thank you, Mally. Thank you, Robin. And thank you, Raiden.